Hello, I'd like to encourage you to come to my presentation of the paper Algorithms of Limits at uh, FACTS uh, 2022 conference in Seoul. Uh, my premise is that if digital trade law restricts access to source code of software, then accountability will suffer. Um, what this paper is about is that uh, recently uh, source code of software has uh, moved into the focus of trade negotiators and its protection was inscribed in a number of really important uh, mega regional and bilateral uh, free trade agreements and currently uh, uh, the members of the WTO are uh, negotiating a new um, um, agreement on trade-related aspects of electronic commerce where they are also dealing with source code of software. What uh, my paper uh, uh, tries to argue is that a new layer of protection for source code of software would have uh, negative implications for transparency, fairness and accountability of computer algorithms that uh, we are just building uh, in uh, the different countries uh, under the heading of algorithmic governance. The paper develops three important critiques. In the beginning there is the critique that uh, certain aspects of auditing algorithmic systems would be caught in the net of this new uh, source code of software clause in free trade agreements. For example, independent third party audits uh, such as the one foreseen in the draft EU Artificial Intelligence Act would be uh, not possible and needs to be justified. Um, and also um, uh, certain, let's say, mundane risks, but still nevertheless important risks for consumers and individuals uh, may not be uh, risky enough to actually meet the trade law test for an important public interest measure. Secondly, uh, this source code clause also generously protects application programming interfaces that are the gateways to and from the algorithmic systems, which are actually quite promising as new avenues to generate accountability. And uh, here we see that, for example, the new EU Digital Services Act is uh, uh, creating an opportunity for scientific researchers to access data of algorithmic systems via such an API. But this would be also caught by such a new source code of software uh, clause uh, if that would be concluded. Um, finally, the APIs are the most promising avenue to carry out non-invasive audits of algorithmic systems via input-output audits, for example, and it would seem premature to foreclose this ability now with a trade law clause. The last argument that I will make in the paper is that the relationship with intellectual property and trade secret protections that already exist is obscure. In a way, we are generating yet another layer of protection for source code of software, and uh, I argue that uh, this is too much and especially uh, at the moment not uh, fully thought through in light of the challenges of algorithmic uh, governance. And uh, also this new clause is not con uh, cognizant of open source licenses. It basically would uh, make a government mandated access to, uh, to source code of software uh, even um, prohibit this uh, when there is open source code at the bottom. So uh, I hope that has uh, enticed you to see and read a bit more of it because if we don't take care of the law, then all this other work, important work, uh, may actually uh, not meet its target. Thank you.